After an hours-long outage, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp are back online tonight. The company says a networking issue blocked servers from being able to communicate, causing cascading outages today. Well, Tori Mason looking into just how big this impact was, and Tori, right now, Facebook says no user data was compromised. And Karen, that's especially relieving considering how many people conduct business on Facebook. It's only been down for a few hours, but it's still made an impact. I am showing new homes today. Real estate agents like April Denman use Facebook to push their properties. I'll keep you guys posted. But Monday morning, there was no page to post to. We thought it was our internet connection, so we restarted our phone. Denman's gained a lot of traction from Facebook. She posts everything from current listings to sold homes. Just to show buyers what we're doing and then show sellers what we're doing as well. Outages across Facebook platforms aren't new, but this time the apps went dark for more than six hours. I think, yes, we should be concerned with why it was down for so long. Nathan Evans is with DU's Department of Computer Science. He says Facebook has stayed fairly secure, but it's had privacy concerns. People have viewed it as kind of a almost a public service. People just will trust it and use it to log into other things. For the most part, that Facebook has done a pretty good job of maintaining their image, and I think that's why people trust them so much. These sites collect data to help sell things, but some small businesses here try to do it on their own. It does make you think just how important Facebook is and how much we do need that for our businesses. So in a statement released this evening, Facebook blames internal network failures as responsible for those outages and says that no user data was compromised. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado First.